Welcome to Larry Under Pressure. In this video, Larry will be comparing three different methods of cooking quick griddle corn cakes. These are also called Johnny Cakes, Hoe Cakes, or Corn Pones depending on the part of the country in which you live. Whatever you call them, you'll definitely call them delicious. They're quick and simple, so let's go. Hello YouTube and welcome to the session tonight from Birmingham, Alabama. We're going to be fixing something I haven't cooked before on the channel. We're going to be making a variation on cornbread. We're going to be making, in the south they call them hoe cakes or johnny cakes. Um, they call it fried cornbread in other places, corn pones, any number of names. But what it basically is, is a little pancake or a waffle made out of cornbread. So we're going to start by using Jiffy Cornbread Mix. These people have been making cornbread mix since 1930, and I can't do it any better myself. It's a little bit sweet, but I like it that way. So we're going to fix it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to follow the package directions for the most part, and we're going to start. I like mixing my wet ingredients first and then pouring the cornmeal into it. So let's give it a try. We're going to put a, one whole egg in the bowl. We're going to put a third cup of whole milk in the bowl. And then I like my cornbread a little bit spicy, so I'm going to put a pinch of cayenne pepper into to add a little bit of kick to it. And then the next thing I'm going to add is something that's not in the instructions. I'm going to add some whole kernel corn to add a little bit more texture to it and a little bit of a better flavor. Let's mix that up in the bowl. While I'm mixing that, let me tell you what we're going to do. Once I get this mixed up and ready, we're going to cook this in three different types of cookers. We're going to use the Dash Mini Grill. We're going to use the Dash Mini Waffle Maker. And we're going to use the My Mini Cooker that I got at Walmart for $8 and see which method we like best for making these. Okay, we've got that mixed up. I'm going to pour my box of Jiffy Corn Muffin Mix in on top of that. And we'll mix that up and see if I like it. Sometimes I have to add a little bit more milk to it because it's not quite thin enough. You don't want it real thin. You don't want it as thin as pancake or waffle batter but you don't want it so thick that it doesn't spread when it begins to cook. That looks like it's pretty good. Let's mix it up and go from there. I'm going to add just a touch more milk to it because I want it just a little bit thinner than what that is. Yeah, that looks good. Okay. There we go. We're going to let that sit for a minute. And what I'm going to do, off camera, I'm going to sit that aside. And then I'm going to get my three different cooking methods. I'm going to line them up, plug them all in, get them preheated, and we'll start cooking. So I'll be back in just a minute and we'll be ready. The appliances are all preheated now. Here's the Dash Mini Waffle Iron. Here's the Dash Mini Griddle with the flat plates. And here's the My Mini from Walmart with the flat plate. I'm not using the insert. I'm excited to show you this because a lot of times you just want cornbread and you don't want to have to heat up the oven, preheat it, get out pots and pans and everything else you have to do to make cornbread. This makes a good crispy piece of cornbread that you can make two or three of them pretty quick, not dirty up the kitchen, and still have a great taste in piece of cornbread. So, let's go ahead and get started with these. We're going to cook them all three, and when we get done, we're probably going to cook a second round of them, and then we'll taste test them and see. Um, I'm going to open these up and spray both the top and the bottom plates 
with just a tiny bit of cooking spray so they don't stick. The Dash Minis, of course, heat on the top and the bottom. The My Mini heats only on the bottom, so we'll have to um, we'll have to turn it. I've got the batter with the corn in there in the bowl. Let's put the first in the waffle maker. Close it. Second spoonful. Oops, just bumped the camera. Second spoonful in the mini griddle. And we'll put the third spoonful in the my mini. And we'll let them cook. We're probably going to let them go for about five minutes. These have been cooking for about five minutes, maybe six. Let's open up the ones in the waffle iron. Look how nice and brown that is. That looks really good. They sure smell nice too. There's the waffle iron. There's the griddle. And we're going to turn it over and cook it just a little bit more on that side. And we're going to let the My Mini go just a little bit longer too because it's so much larger. Uh, the grill plate on the My Mini is about half again as large as it is on the Dash Mini. Uh, on the Dash Mini. So we'll let it cook just a little bit longer and I'll be right back and we'll take those out. I just took a look at the cornbread that's in the dash griddle and it looks very good. It looks like cornbread. Imagine that. So let's get that out and we're going to turn the cornbread and the My Mini. And you have to be real careful. These are all non-stick cooking surfaces and you shouldn't use anything that should scratch them. So I'm going to use something that's rubber on this. Looks good and brown. We'll let it cook on that side for a couple minutes and then we'll get it out. I think the hoe cake in the My Mini has been in there long enough. We're going to go ahead and take it out. Let me mention while, before I do that though, when I mix this batter up, I put the cayenne pepper in there to add a kick to it. There are a lot of things you can do with it. If you like jalapeno peppers, you can also add some jalapenos and make jalapeno cornbread with it. That turns out real good. Okay, that's done definitely. So we've got all three of them done. They look real, real good. Let me zoom in just a little bit. Okay, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to load the um, cookers back up and start them cooking again while we cut these, take a look at the texture and take a taste of them. So let me open these. They're all, of course, already preheated. I'll have a link for all of these, the dashes and the My Mini on the information that follows so that if you want to order these you can order them through my channel and it'll help me and won't cost you any more than if you ordered them directly yourself. But you won't have to look around for them. There's the waffle iron. You can see that you can fix plenty of these for supper to have with your meal without having to go to a lot of trouble. There's the griddle. And let's do the My Mini. And we've got a significant amount of cornbread here. There we 
go. We'll give them about six to eight minutes, and then we'll take them out. In the meantime, let's cut these. Look at that. Look at the texture. Looks like cornbread. That's real good. I was I wanted to make sure since it was quite a bit thicker than the others that it was cooked through and it, it certainly is. Let me take a taste of this one and see what it tastes like. Mm. Light and fluffy and sweet. A little kick from the cayenne. The whole kernel of corn I put in made it taste even better. Mmm. My goodness, what delicious cornbread. I'll come back in just a minute when the second round is done and we'll pull them out and wrap up the video. I'm back and these have been cooking for about six minutes. So let's see, yep, nice and brown in the waffle iron. Let's turn the cake over in the griddle. And in the My Mini, we're going to turn it to... Remember, it only cooks on one side. We'll give it just another minute, and then we'll take these out. As always, when I cook cornbread with this method, it looks like they've come out exceptionally well. These Dash Minis are just amazing appliances. Let's get the ones out of the My Mini. The My Mini is too. It does everything really, really well. Cooks good pancakes this morning. I used it to fix pancakes for breakfast and it came out better than you would have ever expected. There you go. About 10 minutes and we have one, two, three, four, five. We have six pretty good sized pieces of cornbread. We could have taken just a few more minutes and cooked quite a few more. It's fast, it's delicious, it's easy to do, and it's pretty foolproof. And the results come out beautifully. There are links below, again, to purchase these items through Amazon. They're very, very inexpensive, these cookers. Um, it's virtually foolproof. And I'll also put a recipe, not that it's very difficult because you can get it right off the box, except for the corn that I added to it the whole kernel corn, and it was frozen corn I bought at Walmart. So give it a try, see what you think. We are always happy to have you on the channel with us. Glad to show you how we cook things and how we fix things. This is a real good one. It's an easy one. You can satisfy your craving for cornbread real quick and real easy. Um, we'll look forward to seeing you on our next video. So until then, take care. So there you have it simple and delicious. The printed recipe as well as Amazon purchase links are below in the information area. Thanks for joining us for our video, and we'd appreciate if you were to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Give this a try, and leave comments on your impression of this cook. See you next time.